What causes eye floaters? Eye floaters resemble black or gray obstructions in your field of vision that simply seem to drift about aimlessly. These floaters can appear on a regular basis and then disappear for some time, only to reappear again sporadically. There are multiple causes and factors that can result in experiencing eye floaters. Some of these may be due to age, infection, injury or retinal damage. Let's review these different causes and gain a better understanding of each. Age-related eye floaters. This is the most common cause, where the fluid-like substance that fills the space behind your cornea can act as a pool for the cornea's normally recycling of cells. As these cells come off the internal tissues of the cornea and proceed to drainage, they sometimes float before they are drained. When floating, they can obstruct the light that normally enters the eye. This obstruction manifests itself as gray or black objects and is more commonly found in adults over the age of 50. Infections. Eye infections or inflammatory disease can be another cause of eye floaters. They can both impact the internal layers of the eye, resulting in premature cell sloughing, which manifests itself as floaters. Injury. Eye injury, accidental trauma or eye surgery complications can also be the possible source of eye floaters. If a person experienced an injury to the eye, which resulted in interocular bleeding, they may begin experiencing the symptoms previously mentioned. Retinal damage. A damaged retina could potentially be another possible cause of eye floaters. If the naturally occurring liquid in the eye clumps up and causes the vitreous sac to pull on the retina, it could cause fluid to accumulate behind it, increasing the probability of a potential retinal detachment. Such a condition can impact a person's overall vision and even cause permanent vision loss if left untreated. A better understanding of the causes of eye floaters, the symptoms, as well as the treatment options, can help a person make an informed decision as to how to properly address the matter. If you, or someone you know, believes they are experiencing this issue, it is better to always err on the side of caution and consult your doctor first. For more information on this and other eye-related topics, visit our blog at blog.contactlensking.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.